I went from strict to strict door, strict. Understand? Only person I own is myself. Strict door. Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm, to, I'm, I'm too dejected, man. But, man, I don't want to say we're blowing it, but we're blowing it. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, there's no excuse for that performance. You go 2 0 up, you have a penalty, you miss the penalty. Bruv, like, I can't lie to you, those bits where I was thinking West Ham might end up nicking this. Um, but there's no excuse, you don't go 2 0 up. But I was thinking when we, when we scored the first two goals early on, I was thinking, yep, yeah, West Ham going to catch bullets. You know, they're going to catch bullets today. I thought it was going to be 2, 3, 4, 5. I thought it was going to be one of those games. But again, we, we don't. We don't go for the third. We don't defend well. Like if you're not going, if you're not, if you're just gonna hold on to the scores, then at least get yourself defensively aware. Get yourself defensively focused. Do you know what I'm saying? And we did. We did none of that. We did none of that. Like, like we're so comfortable so early on, and then towards the end, like they're, they're just playing so nervous. Like I'm seeing people hiding. What the fuck is going on? Like, this is the business end of the league now. This is what what people talk about. This, these are champions have made. Champions are made in these periods. Like it's not so much your performance now, it's about the results. And we're not, we're not getting the results. There's no fucking excuses here, bro. I can go 2 0 up against West Ham and, and, and fucking blow it like the way we did. And was given a penalty. Ah, oh, man, party. One of the worst games I've seen him play. One of the worst games I've seen party play in, in, in his Arsenal career. And likewise with Saka. Saka was non existent. He was non existent. Like uh, uh, up on that. um. On that right hand side, that pattern play that he has with Ben White and Odegaard on that right, he, he's just not not in it for some reason. He's not in it for some reason, man. But I tell you what, we need to come out of this rock ASAP. ASAP, we need to come out of this rock because City have picked up now. And that game, we've got, I think we've got Southampton before City. That, that game is going to be a big fucking game now. It's going to be a big fucking game. It's going to... Man... I'm just thinking about how, uh, how how much we've blown it right now, man. It's gonna it's gonna be a mad, it's gonna be a mad thing, but man, defensively defensively so poor, man. I can't lie to you. Defensively defensively we were so so poor, and in the midfield as well, man. In the midfield, like I said, we've not blown it, but we're blowing it. We're blowing it, man. Like. Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really know what to say. I can we be so comfortable so early on? But like, this is just that Liverpool thing all over again. Like, like I was saying to the guy sat next to me, I was like, "Bro, we need to get a third goal, bro." Like, for, for me to feel safe, we need to get a third goal because that two 0 lead. The moment you you concede one, they start getting PTSD from the last game. And this is exactly exactly what happened. Exactly what happened, man. Ah. Honestly, I, I, I really, I really don't know what to say. But Arteta's got, got to get these boys focused ASAP. Got to get, got, got. Man, man, I'm, I'm fucking breathless, man. Like I, I predicted a five, five one, five one win. Like the West Ham fans, I was sat with the West Ham fans today. The West Ham fans, like the first, first twenty minutes, first twenty minutes, the place was quiet as fuck. It was, it was quiet as place. Quietest, quietest place. None of them was making no noise. We controlled the crowd and then all of a sudden give away a penalty. Like, I don't even know if it was a pen or not a pen. I haven't seen the replays back, but nonetheless, you're fucking West Ham at the fucking, the bottom end of the table, bro. The bottom end of the, bottom end of the table, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? What's going on? Nah, that, 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 the, the, the the magnitude of that of that uh, Man City game now it just hit me of how big of a game that is now like it was a game where we must not we must not lose but now it's turning out to be a game where we have to win now and and we don't have a good record there they and they're playing some mad football right now so the odds are really really stack, stacking against us and we're stacking it against us we're stacking the odds against us come on man this is three points here today bro Three points and fix the goal difference. Oh, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking vexed. I'm fucking vexed. There's no excuses. I don't give a fuck. There's no excuses here, bro. Should have won this fucking game. You know, Saka. 
Like the last few games, I don't know what's what's been up with him. Like he's he's got a lot of credit with me. I ain't gonna lie, Saka's got a lot of credit with me. But if I have to be real and call it out, is Saka cost us this game today, bro? I'll say, it. Saka cost us this game. I'll say, it. do you know what I'm saying? He's he, he still he's still the baddest boy that we've got. But yeah, you you gotta put those away, man. Like, at three one, game's dead and buried, man. At three one, this team's fighting relegation. They 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 they're nervous. Do you know what I'm saying? At three one. They capitulate, mix it 3 1, 4 1. But I'm saying that we was 2 0 up. We was 2 0 up. Anyway, man, like, share, subscribe. Leave something in the comments, man. Peace.